Well, for more than a hundred years, the sound of the Bunker Hill mine whistle filled the air in the small town of Kellogg. Yeah, that whistle could be heard for miles, but when the mine stopped producing large amounts of silver, the whistle stopped too, until now. Cakes of Y Force Annie Bishop explains how Silver Mountain Resort is bringing the historic sound back to life. This is a real neat historical find. Every day, 12 o'clock sharp, you'll find Patrick Johnson near the gondola at Silver Mountain. He's a construction manager here and now the designated whistleblower. You, you can feel it just as much as you can hear it. With the push of a bright red button, the Bunker Hill whistle <laughs> is back. This is living history. This is something we can, you know, make alive again. And that's the really neat aspect of it, you know. Uh, it's not just the memory anymore. The whistle used to signal shift changes at the mine. You always knew what time it was in Kellogg. You, and you'd all, everybody would always check their watch to see whether their watch was fast or slow. When the whistle stopped, Mike Bromley, who used to work at Bunker Hill, says it was too quiet. In fact, it's been so long he can't quite remember what it sounds like. Whoop. Except that's probably not it at all. <laughs> it just was a, it was a sound. Even though the whistle has been a staple in this community for a very long time, it still has a very mysterious past. It was up there at Bunker Hill for more than 100 years. Until this day, no one can say for sure exactly where it was made. Oh, we don't know if it was something that was purchased, but most likely, like most anything in the mines, it was made right in the fab shops of the mines. The whistle will blow at the same time it did when it was at Bunker Hill, noon, 4 o'clock, and 7 a.m. Well, not exactly the same. We just thought 7 in the morning might be a little too early here. In Kellogg, Annie Bishop, KXLY4.